What's going on? Uh, this is David again, uh, coming to do the book of Hosea. Uh, this is part three. Um, we're going to start at chapter five. Um, I don't think I have to leave a lot of these chapters, so I'm be able to go straight through. I'm going to think I laid the foundation. I'm gonna, if you're starting part three um, and you haven't seen part one and two, definitely watch those two first because those lay a foundation of understanding concerning uh, the attributes of the two thirds that Jose is talking about, the one third rising up over the two thirds and that the Lord is out judging Israel right now. Um, <clears throat> this entire book just details the attributes and their uh, forwardness towards their God, so-called blacks, uh, native indigenous Indians, um, Latinos, Native indigenous and Negro descent by the house here fathers, the islanders and confusion of faith scattered abroad the four corners of the earth. Um, they've been uh, taken away from their heritage, living under uh, false identities and thoughts based on uh, history in a sense. So their grandfather was a shaman or whatever, and they just follow that path. Um, Judah definitely taken into slavery, uh, taught Christianity. Um, never really searching for the truth, considering their ways. Like I said, I think that's the book of Haggai. Consider your ways. I think that's Haggai um, and Proverbs chapter five. And the fact that uh, they've been stripped from their heritage, um, not considering their path, they stay in sin. And so time is running out. The Lord has put the truth back on the earth, the comforter. And now it's time for y'all to wake up. Um, Let's get right into this. Um, let's give all praise to the Most High God, Yahweh, and our King to come, Yahweh Shai. And all praises to you, lost sheep of the house of Israel, and mankind who fears God. Um, the two thirds are definitely a target for Israel. They're your number one. They're your number one reason that you're oppressed. Um, they're your enemy. They're the Lord's enemy. Um, but He's going to give them a chance to come back. But once that chance is gone, they're going to be purged by the one third. Um, it's very important you know this. It's going to be taught within your tribes. I'm going to get into it here. Um, let's get right into it. The book of Hosea, chapter five. Hear ye this, O priests, and hearken, ye house of Israel, hearken. And give ear, O house of the king, for judgment is toward you, right? So all you Israelites, hearken because judgment is towards you. And that's what you're seeing. Rappers, politicians, actors of our people, they're dying or being afflicted, okay? Because you you won't follow the ordinance. You won't consider your path. You keep joining with your oppressor and following his ways. And that becomes your staff, right? So when you hear a man of the Lord tell you, hey, man, you got to come out of that, you can't keep doing that with your kids. You don't want to hear it. So judgment is towards you. Let's read. Because you have been a snare on Mizpah and a net spread upon Tabor, and the revolters are profound to make slaughter. Right. Uh, these two thirds, you love killing each other. Okay. You're profound to make slaughter. Though I've been a rebuker of them all. Right. It's the word of the Lord that has police surveillance in your neighborhoods all the time. Right. Please always sweat me, man. Yeah, because the Lord is rebuking you for what you're doing. Let's read. I know Ephraim and Israel is not hid from me. For now, O Ephraim, thou committest whoredom and Israel is defiled. Right. You're, you're committing whoredom. OK. With your lover. You, you keep following their ways. You don't know who you are and you're not searching it out. So you've 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 been in captivity Instead of trying to figure out your way back home, you just think you're going to be comfortable here in the land of your captivity, wherever you are, all abroad. It's not going to work. This, this system is going to fall, okay? And you're not going to be comfy here. Let's read. Because you belong in Israel. Let's read. They will not frame their doings to turn unto their God. Right, you won't frame your doings. To turn unto your God. Doings. Not, oh, I'm looking at a few precepts here and there. You won't change toward your Lord. 
you won't see the obvious and make the change. For the spirit of whoredoms is in the midst of them, and they have not known Yahweh. Right. The spirit of whoredom, you, you do it when you want to do it. You know, you brush it aside, and you don't know the Lord. So you say a lot of silly things. Like, I read this thing recently, and uh, it was a sister. And, uh, you know, they want that softed thing with the word of the Lord. It's like they have a Christianity thought process toward, towards it. And if, you, if you're actually someone who studies the word, you know that the real prophets are austere. The Lord is austere. So his real messengers will be austere, and then it's going to be direct. They're not going uh, really, to shape their way to make you feel better. Okay, They're going to tell you the exact truth, what you need to do to get right with your Lord. I mean, think about it. Elijah, when he went with the woman and her son, she had to feed him first. She was starving to death. The word of the Lord holds precedence. The messenger of the Lord holds precedence over everything, including your emotion. Let's read. And the pride of Israel do testify to his face. Right. It tes th these words testify right in your face. Were you not put on slave ships? <laughs> Are you not harassed by police? Are you not running into adversaries every time you try to step closer and closer to that ordinance? Are there not young men on standing on corners shooting up your neighborhoods? It's all in the word of the Lord. But you don't know the Lord, so you don't realize it's talking about you. Because the reason you don't know it, you don't consider your path. Let's read. Therefore shall Israel and Ephraim fall in their iniquity. Right. You keep falling due to sin. That's why you die. Sin. Breaking the ordinance and the commandments of your Lord. Following the ways taught to you by your oppressor, Satan, the beast. Judah also shall fall with them. They shall go with their flocks and with their herds to seek the Lord, but they shall not find him. Right. The two thirds is going to get so hectic <laughs> that you're going to be trying to find this word. But you're not. a lot of these people are not going to find it because the Lord has purged them. And that's in Ezekiel uh, 24. He hath withdrawn himself from them. Right. They, they're enjoying their life here. They got all the riches. All of that's going to fly away like the wind when this affliction starts kicking in. They have dealt treacherously against the Lord, but they have begotten strange children. Right. Your children don't know the word of the Lord. That's why your young men are dying in the streets. Your daughters are being kidnapped. I've seen two kidnappings recently. Um, Israelite children. Girls. Uh, you know, what are those things called when they put them blasts out? Israelite women. You don't frame your, your, you have strange children. They don't know God. Their parents don't know God. So he's not having mercy on your children. Let's read. And now shall, now shall a, mo a month devour them with their portions. Right. You've got your portions and then suddenly you're being devoured. You've got your, your big home. You've got your cars. You've trusted in your oppressor. And now your daughter got kidnapped. Oh, now you're, you're, you're a famous rapper. Your son just got shot. It's on now. The Lord is paying back the blood like he sold, said in Luke 11. It's rolling out. Let's read. Blow ye the corne in Gibeah and the trumpet in Ramah. Cry aloud at Beth Haven after thee, O Benjamin. That's right. Blow the trumpet. War. The Lord is going against his enemies. Let's read. Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke. Among the tri tribes of Israel have I made known that which shall surely be. Right. So uh, <clears throat> you're learning what shall surely be amongst your tribes all over the earth, all over the four corners. The Lord is waking up. He's brought the comforter. You're seeing men on corners. And now he's amongst your tribes. So what does it say? The first amongst many brethren. So anyone who's watching me, I'm the first amongst the brethren who are watching me. Right. I'm telling you what shall surely be. And you are seeing it. It's testifying right to your face. Repent. Let's read. The princes of Judah were like them that removed the bound. 
Therefore, I will pour out my wrath upon them like water. Right. You, you have no rules, no regulations. Uh, you, you do whatever you want. You're lewd. Judah, so-called Negroes. Benjamin Judah Levi, you so-called Negroes. I was just looking at this rapper who's in jail for murder of his buddies, okay? And his mama brings two strippers to the prison so she could shake her butt and throw money at him. His mother does this. Kill them all. There's no there's no there there there's no hope for you. I you you won't frame your doings to do righteousness. That is just, it's just sad. So the Lord is hunting you down now. Let's read. And then he's going to send the one third. That's when it's going to get brutal. Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked after the commandment. Right. <clears throat> Therefore, will I be unto Ephraim as a moth and to the house of Judah as rottenness, right? The house of Judah, you're supposed to be the head tribes, right? You're supposed to be upholding righteousness. You notice how Jehoshaphat was telling Ahab, uh, don't, don't say that about the man of the Lord, okay? You're supposed to be setting the standard, right? When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then went Ephraim to the Assyrian and, and sent to King Jerob. Yet could he not heal you nor cure you of your wound, right? You always go to your oppressor when things are bad. You go to the people who destroy you. You go to the people for your help of the people who destroy you, who had you on ships, hanging you on trees, um, putting you on spicks, you northern tribes, burning your bones, killing your children. You go to their government house and you ask them for help. You're standing in line voting for your oppressor. Let's read. And they can't cure you. Only the word of God is going to cure you and put you back in your rightful place. For I will be unto Ephraim as a lion. Right. So Yahweh Shai is walking through the earth, through the spirit, and he's hunting, he's searching you out like a lion. And as a young lion to the house of Judah. Right. So you're getting bang, bang. You know, the daughter's getting kidnapped or he's hunting you out like a lion and a young lion. You ever seen a lion attack somebody? It's not pretty. I, even I, will tear and go away. I will take away and none shall rescue him. No one's going to take you out of the clutches of the Lord for your transgression and your shameful manner of how you're carrying yourselves. So-called blacks, Native Indigenous Indians, Latinos, Hispanics of Native Indigenous Negro descent, and you islanders scattered abroad. He's going to destroy you. And that's what's happening now. Let's read. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge your offense, till you repent of your sins and come back to your God with all your heart. And seek my face. That means study the word, learn the truth about the Lord. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Right. See, our people, you're not seeking this early yet. Only those who are being woke up by the Lord and coming back are seeking it. All of you are not. So that means you haven't been afflicted enough yet. It's going to get worse. It's going to be so dramatic that you're going to get up in the morning trying to find the truth. You're going to catch wind of it, and you're going to be breaking your neck to find the prophet of the Lord to learn it. It's going to be so bad for the house of Israel that it will be undeniable who are the real Israelites. Let's read. Repent. I'm telling you, better take heed. It's going to get bad for you out here. Very bad. Blood. Chapter 6. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, and the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. Right. Come back to the Lord, learn the truth. This is what comforts you. It might sound 
I mean, it might sound like it's tough, but in all reality, all this word does is separate you from drama and problems. Let's read. O Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? O Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your goodness is as a morning cloud. Right, when the Israelite, the, our people, they're really good people when they're good, right? Everybody loves grandma, moms, you know what I'm saying, pops when it's all good, laughing and joking around. When they're righteous, right, it's a beautiful thing. And as the early do, it goeth away, right? But they're quick to backslide and go into iniquity. They're, they're almost intolerable. Let's read. Therefore, have I hewed them by the prophets, right? So since the Israelites have this quality, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, has done something. He's hewed you to the words of the prophets. So you're tied to it by blood, which is discussed in Exodus uh, chapter 24, I think 24 or 28. You're attached by blood. So whatever this word says, it's going to attach itself to you. So if you are against this word, you will die by the word. Let's read. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. Right, the judgments are like the light that goeth forth. So everyone sees your judgments. They might not know it's what's happening, but they do. The guy, the rapper, the Mo3 guy, uh, stretched out on the freeway. The, the young guys are recording. His body's all stretched out. It's like a light going forth. His, his nature, what he was doing, it's backed up by the word. Repent. Let's read. For I desired mercy and not sacrifice. You don't show your people mercy. None at all. You hate your own brother. You, Like he said, what did uh, King Ahab said, I hate him. You hate the men of the Lord and you hate righteousness. Well, now you're going to pay for it. He said, I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of Yahweh more than burnt offerings. The knowledge of the Lord is worth more to you. It is your life, like Moses said in Deuteronomy 32. But you've waxed fat, right? You're, you're getting your way here, and it's going to change on you. But they, like men, have transgressed the covenant. They have, there have they dealt treacherously against me, Gilead is a city of them that work iniquity and is polluted with blood, right? Your neighborhoods are polluted with blood, right? But you but you want to go to your oppressor and uh, talk about Black Lives Matter, brown and Black Lives Matter. You kill your own all the time. Hypocrites. Let's read. And as troops of robbers wait for a man, so the company of priests murder in the way by consent, for they commit lewdness, right? You're supposed to be priests, right? a kingdom of kings and priests, because that's what's coming. The great men, the scribes, they're going to be kings and priests, and we hope to be selected to be one of those. But now you're in the streets killing and murdering each other. But you're supposed to have the knowledge of God and be priests on the earth. For they commit lewdness. I have seen a horrible thing in the house of Israel. There, it, there is the whoredom of Ephraim. Israel is defiled. Also, o Judah, he has set in harvest for thee when I return the captivity of my people. Right. He set a harvest for you, Judah, the fig tree. Right. You're seeing it everywhere. Brothers teaching it. You're, you're on YouTube seeing it. You're seeing on street corners. Judah, because you're the tribes that need to set up. You're the ensign of the earth. What Judah does, all the other tribes will follow. Then the world. You're the salt to the earth. So if your flavor is wickedness, the earth is in wickedness. You understand? Exactly right. So if you brothers were rapping about righteousness, the whole world will be righteous. But you want to do evil, so everything stays in darkness. Let's read chapter 7. When I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered and the wickedness of Samaria. For they commit falsehood, right? You're all caught up in false religious beliefs, false customs and ways, especially you northern tribes. Uh, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, uh, Guatem Panamanians, all over. You're all caught up in all sorts of stuff. Uh, customs made up by your elders. 
that you've just followed because you've lost this truth, okay? For they commit falsehood, and the thief cometh in, and the troop of robbers spoiled without. Right, so you've been committing falsehood, you northern Israelites, so the Lord sent the Spaniards over here, the thief, right, and they strip you of everything. And now you're mixed up with them. Let's read. And they consider and they consider not in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their own doings have beset them about, right? Your own doings is why you were taken into captivity. It's why you're dying in the streets. You commit falsehood. You keep going to them churches on Sunday. It's why this is happening. They are before my face. They make the king glad with their wickedness, right? You like you love good old Ahab and what his ways. You make him glad. You make your kings glad with your wickedness. And the princes with their lies, right? The false prophets. You love false prophets, false spiritual men, falsehood, shamanism. Let's read. They are all adulterers as an oven heated by the baker, right? <laughs> A false baker. That's right. Who ceases from raising after you have kneaded the dough until it be leavened, right? Uh, he stops teaching you, right? You're, you're a baker, you're a false prophet, you're a leader who you keep following. He teaches you a little bit, but then he stops. He's kneaded you up enough so where you keep, you're going to keep leavening up with falsehood and you truly believe it with your heart. In the day of our king, the princes have made him sick with bottles of wine, right? In the day of Yahawashai, the princes that you, 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 you like to follow, They've made the Lord sick with these being drunk because you're all drunk. Let's read. He stretched out his hand with scorners, right? You shake your hands with scorners like that one uh, brother I be seeing rollerblading. You like the wickedness of our people who don't seek the Lord. You, you love dealing with people who scorn the Lord. Your churches are filled with uh, alternative lifestyle people, uh, celebrities. None of these people keep the commandments of God. But you love them. So you're dying because of it. Let's read. The word of the Lord is not going to be taken for a joke anymore. You had your fun. Play time is over. Let's read. For they have made ready their heart like an oven, whilst they lie in wait. Right. Your heart is dead set on the falsehood. Right. You, you lie in and wait for your false baker to teach you something. You don't listen to the men of the Lord. You won't listen to a man like Micaiah. Let's see. Their baker sleepeth all the night. Right. They won't listen to us, but your pastor, your false prophet, your false religious spiritual leader, he can't teach you nothing. He's sleeping at night. The real men of the Lord, we're studying at night all the time. Right. So you, you won't uh, be speaking against the priests anymore. Those days are over. In the morning, it burneth as a flaming fire. Right, you're on fire for falsehood. God loves everybody. Uh, you know, we're all equal. Uh, you know, God doesn't hurt anybody. All that nonsense. It's, it's like you don't even read the book because you don't really. Let's read. They are all hot as an oven and have devoured their judges. Right, what do they do to uh, Micaiah that they hated? They put him in jail. They, they would kill the real prophets of the Lord. Those are your judges. The great men, the scribes, the prophets sent by the Lord to teach you what shall surely be, they will kill them. You don't want to hear the real truth. All their kings are fallen. There is none among them that calleth unto me. Right, you have no kings. You, you don't even know who you are because you hate the word of the Lord. Let's read. Ephraim has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turn. Right, so Ephraim... Is uh, his seed is going to be all over the world. Let's read. Strangers have devoured his strength, right? Because he loved the, the northern tribes. They love siding with the Gentile, okay? Strangers have devoured his strength. But you're not in uh, first, uh, is it first Ezra chapter 8. You're not supposed to seek their peace, right? And he knoweth it not, yea, Gray hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knoweth not. Right. So uh, Ephraim will be a melanated person, but gray hairs are here and there. So some are going to be very light. 
Some could be dark, but he won't know that they're a northern tribe. And you won't either, right? You'll be going around saying, oh, all Israelites are Negroes, but you could have one that might look like a Spaniard and his seed is from the father, right? But they don't know it's them. And the pride of Israel testified to his face and they do not return to the Lord their God nor seek him for all this, right? Your pride is what keeps you from searching his truth out and turning and doing what's commanded to you. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without heart. They call to Egypt. They go to Assyria. They, they love their oppressor. You, Puerto Rico, Dominican, they got the flag. You know, it's like now you're speaking Spanish due to being whipped and beat to death. And you take pride in that flag. Still today, even some in the truth, they'd be representing of those flag colors. It's shameful. Let it go. Let's read. When they shall go, I will spread my net upon them. I will bring them down as the fowls of the heaven. I will chastise them as their congregation hath heard. Right. You're going to keep getting chastised. You've heard this. What one to them, for they have fled from me. Destruction unto them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. Right. They make up their own doctrine. And they have not cried unto me with their heart. When they howled upon their beds, they assemble themselves for corn and wine, and they rebel against me. Though I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet do they imagine mischief against me. They return, but not to the Most High. Right, you return to deal with Baal, but you're not dealing with the Most High. You're dealing with Roman doctrine, nonsense, and it's weakening you. They are like a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue. Right. For your rage, since you're howling for Catholicism so much, your, your young men are falling by the sword. The Lord's killing them off. This shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. This shall be what perplexes you Israelites in the land of your captivity. Right. They just don't get it. Like I read comments and stuff about when I see these things happen. What is going on in 2020? All these rappers die. All these people, all these brothers dying. This is your perplexity. You won't, you don't believe the truth. It's going to get worse. So if you know this truth, plead with your people. You better tell them to turn. They're already working on that chip and that vaccine. You better get ready. The Lord has something for you, for all mankind. You've been shunning the word of God. The, you, you, everybody's made mockery of the creator and you don't know him. So you're going to find out the hard way. It is not going to be pretty. I, I, I truly cannot say this any easier. It is going to be very bad. I see people today. They're literally complaining about you know money and stuff like this. And they will not turn away from their paganism. You be in the store, they're buying their Thanksgiving turkeys, Christmas trees, broke, right? Your government won't give you nothing, but you won't let go of falsehood. You're going to pay with the sword. You need to turn to the Lord. You better listen to this truth. Let's read chapter eight. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. Right. Set the trumpet. He's going to send it against you. Just like he sent them against us on the western coast of Africa and here over here in uh, north central South America. You won't turn to the Lord. So he's going to send he's going to send the eagle against you. Esau, Edom. Let's read. Because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my law. Israel shall cry unto me, my God, we know thee. Israel hath cast off the thing that is good. The enemy shall pursue him. They're going to come after you. They have set up kings, but not by me. They have made princes, and I knew it not. Of their silver and their gold have they made them idols, that they may be cut off. Right. Of your silver and your gold, you're making yourself idols so they can be cut off. That's right. You make your own kings. 50 cents your king. Right? You listen to everything they say. 
Ice Cube is your king. All these sellouts, those are your kings. So you're about to be cut off for it. Thy calf, O Samaria, have cast thee off. My anger is kindled against them. How long will it be ere they attain to innocency? Right, how long are you going to act innocent? For from Israel was it also the workmen made it. Therefore, it is not Yahweh. But the calf of Samaria shall be broken in pieces. Right, you got crosses in your house. You're going to lose, all that's going to go away. For they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. Right, you've sown falsehood, but you're going to reap the whirlwind of the Lord. It hath no stalk. The bud shall yield no meal. If so, be it yield. The stranger shall swallow it up. Right. Israel swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein there is no pleasure. That's right. It's no pleasure for wherever you're at all over the earth. You get little, little bits, but it's not true pleasure. For they had gone up to Assyria, a wild ass alone by himself. Ephraim have hired lovers. Right. You love your oppressor. You northern Israelites, so-called Hispanics, native indigenous Indians, Latinos. You love your oppressor. Anytime you see a northern tribe, they are either married to their oppressor or they've given their daughter to the oppressor. Let's read. And you, Judah, too. You're, you're, you, you, the women of Judah, Eve, is being abundantly tied to their oppressor, and the Lord is not with it. And I'm going to get into that one day because uh, something happens with Adam in the garden concerning that. Let's read. Yea, Though they have hired among the nations, now will I gather them. And they shall sorrow a little for the burden of the king of the princes. Right. Because Ephraim hath made many altars to sin, altars shall be unto him to sin. Right. I have written to him the great things of my law, for they were counted as a strange thing. Right. You, you count the law of the Lord as a strange thing. You don't want to do it. But it's your life. By you not doing it, you die. And now we're in that generation that the Lord, uh, uh, his testimony preached about in Luke. Let's read. They sacrifice flesh for the sacrifices of mine offerings and eat it, but the Lord accepted them not. Now will he remember their iniquity and visit their sins. They shall return to Egypt, for Israel hath forgotten his maker and built temples, and Judah hath multiplied fenced cities, but I will send a fire upon his cities and it shall devour the power of palaces thereof. Right. That's right. I'm going to stop right there. Right. This word is going to testify against uh, you so-called Negroes, Native Indigenous Indians, Latinos, um, Hispanics, confusion of face all over the earth. It's testifying to you now. We're in that generation. Um, and it's going to speed up. Um, repent. Keep the commandments of your Lord. Separate yourself from those who don't believe the truth. No no half-steppers. I'm telling you right now. What they, what's that new term now these young boys be saying? Uh, the steppers. Pretty soon the one-third is going to be the steppers. And it's, it's going to be serious. <laughs> I'm going to show you in the video I'm working on. The one-third are going to be the steppers. You think these gangsters and stuff out here is tough? Uh uh at this time it's gonna change, boy. And it's gonna be it's gonna be violent and it's gonna be brutal. The Lord has a plan for the two thirds who don't repent and come back. It's not gonna be pretty. They are his enemies, and they're gonna be the one third's enemy. Um all praise to y'all who believe the truth, uh Israelite and Gentile. Um just sit back and watch, study the word daily, uh keep your spirit and your faith up, stay in prayer. Um yeah, man. <laughs> I'm going to do the whole book of Hosea and then I'm going to break down some other stuff for you. And uh, yeah, all praise to the Most High God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and all praise to you, lost sheep of the house of Israel and mankind who fears God. Shalom.